Hi again. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Christina and I garden in Northwest Iowa, which is a zone five, and I grow both cut flowers and vegetables. I've gardened for probably about 15 years for both vegetables and cut flowers. Uh, but this year is my first year that I am officially growing cut flowers to make bouquets. So I thought it would be fun to share my entire journey on both my Instagram and my YouTube channel. A lot of the flowers that I'm going to be growing this year I've grown previously, but there are quite a few that I'll be growing that I have never grown before. And one of those is Lysianthus, which I'm going to be starting today. When I started researching what flowers work best for cut flower bouquets, I fell in love with the look of Lysianthus. From what I understand, it can be a little tricky to grow. So this year, since it's my first year, I just ordered two different kinds to try out. Both of these are from Johnny's, and I'll throw pictures up on the screen. Uh, but the first one I'm going to be trying is the Voyage 2 Light Apricot. And then the other one that I'm going to try is the Roseanne Black Pearl. So I'm really excited to see how these go. Um, the germination days on both of the seed packets say 140 to 150 days. So Lysianthus is a very slow growing, slow growing, oh my gosh, I can't talk today, slow growing plant. So starting the second week in January, which is where we are at now, I don't think is too early at all. In Northwest Iowa, typically our last frost of the season is about mid-May. So that's kind of what I rely on every year. The method that I'm going to use today to start these seeds is the Charles Dowding method. And instead of putting the seeds in their individual um, cells in a tray, you use one growing space and then intensively plant the seeds. So it's a real space saver, but then once they get a set or two of true leaves, then I'll be transplanting them into a larger cell. I recently watched Nicole from Flower Hill Farm plant Lysianthus, and the trays that she used were meat trays. And I thought that was a really good idea. So this tray I saved from some chicken breasts that we had last week. It's a nice deep tray compared to some of the others. And I'm going to be starting both of these seeds right in this tray. I'll just kind of put a little space down the middle so when they start coming up, I can see the split in them. And According to these seed packets, there's 50 seeds in a packet. I'm not going to start all of those just in case these don't sprout. I have some backup seeds. So I'm probably going to use maybe 30 to 40 seeds, a little over half. I think that'll be good. The potting mix that I'm using is a Burpee Organic Potting Mix. And I'm not adding anything to this. It already has some fertilizer in it, um, some coconut, core is that how you say that um, and it's a really nice fine material the perlite in here is also very small and so I think I'm really gonna like this medium for growing there's a few different seed starting mixes that I'm going to be trying out this year and this is just the first bag that I happen to have open so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pre moisten the soil first this soil doesn't seem overly dry um, compared to the soil that I remember using last year, but I'm just going to add a little bit of water at a time and then with my hand mix it all up, which I can tell I need a little more. The reason you pre-moisten your seed mix is so that it already settles down and then when you do water it you're not going to lose the seeds they're not going to start floating around now lysianthus does not want to be planted underneath of the soil according to instructions on the seed packet so once i get the soil packed in the tray i'm just going to sprinkle them over top of it because they need light to germinate so i think this is pretty good basically you want to be able to squeeze it and it sticks together but you can see there's no water running out. And I probably mixed up too much soil, but I'm just gonna fill my tray. I wanna leave a little bit of a space, like a reservoir around the side. That seems nice and packed down. Seems pretty level. Okay, then I'm just gonna put an indentation with my finger I'm not planting any seeds right here, but that just tells me that's the divider for the two kinds. 
Okay, hand wash break. Okay, so my hands are all clean and I'm ready to put the seeds in. I'm gonna start with the apricot. Now these are super tiny. It feels like there's an envelope within the envelope. Yep. An envelope within the envelope within the envelope. And these are pelleted seeds. I highly doubt you can see them, but the seeds are so small that these come pelleted. So you can see them better when you're planting them. So I'm just gonna pour them out in my hand so I know how many I'm working with. There's still a few in here, but I'm not gonna plant all of these seeds. Um, like I said before, just in case they do not all come up, I wanna have some for backup for a second sowing. So I can see the pellets as I'm dropping them on the soil. So I'm not putting any right next to each other, but I'm spreading them out around the whole tray. Okay, so that's probably about three quarters of the seeds. Oops. And guess what? I dropped a couple on the floor. Oops. I'll find those when I'm done. Okay, I'm gonna set that on that side. I will be labeling these when mark with markers too so that I know which is which when they start coming up. That was the apricot, this is the black pearl. Okay, this is just one envelope. These are also pelleted. So I'll plant about three quarters of these as well. Okay, so I think that looks good. I actually feel like maybe I had a few more seeds in this um, black pearl packet. Okay, and I didn't drop any on the floor that time. Oh, and I also forgot to mention the water that I used to mix this, I used a lukewarm water. I don't know if that really matters, um, but since I'm going to be putting these on a heat mat and they take heat for germination, I just thought that I shouldn't be using cold water. So I used a warm water. All right, let me grab my spray bottle and we'll water these in. So the water that I'm gonna use to spray these in is also lukewarm. I read that since the seeds are pelleted, misting them helps break down that coating so that they can germinate properly. Again, this is my first time growing these. So you guys will see if I succeed or I fail. Hopefully succeed. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I can actually see um, the yellow, which is the pellet on the seed on some of these breaking down already. So I think that's a good sign. I don't think I overwatered them. So the last thing I need to do is cover this with saran wrap, which will act as my humidity dome. That's actually sticking pretty well. So there it is. And I just turn it around. <laughs> so I have the apricot and I have the black pearl. And I would guess I maybe planted 35 seeds of each. So now all I have to do is go put this downstairs under my grow lights on my heating mat and hopefully um, in a week or two I start seeing some action. I should mention that I have a whole new growing setup this year for my seed starting. I'll link the video down below, but I recently posted a video of that. Um, I think it was about a week ago. So I'll link that down below, and then I will make sure to keep you updated on if this is successful or not. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.